Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial we will learn about how to use the register element within the Logisim. So first we need to go to our memory folder and here we can see our register block. So drag it out. Here you can see that a register has one input and one output. Okay, and there is one enable pin, sorry, clock pin, and one enable pin, and one is the clear pin. Now we can. Okay, one more thing that why we are going to use this register in our circuits because registers are the uh, temporary uh, data storing elements, like uh, if you want to store certain values. Uh, they will be stored until the uh, next clock edge, okay? So, we can have some sort of temporary storage. Okay, now, so we need to take our logic uh, state. Okay, now we need to connect it with the, what's called as the clock. And one with the clear input. Like this one with the enable these all must be one bit while input and output must be 8 bit like the uh, register so for output we will use logic probe and this this must be of 8 bit now this thing and this must be like this must be of 8 bit okay now what will happen now we will take our uh, hand tool so that we can uh, run it out now you can see that when okay now if you want uh, now we have changed the values on the input side but we can see that we are not getting any sort of values on the output why it is so because first we, uh, because these values must be given to the output uh, when there is logic, uh, when there is trigger of the clock, okay? Okay, so, so, so this is the trigger of the clock, but still you can see that it is not going to work. Why it is so? Because we must have to give one on the enable pin. If we give one on the enable pin, then our register will be enabled, and now we can see that Register is got the uh, this value is 66 or 66 because it is in the uh, hexadecimal so it is 6 and 6 and on the output we are getting the same as the input okay now if we use to change the values like this and like this you can see that we are not getting the change value until we used to give the second trigger of the clock. So now the value is updated on the output. So hopefully you got this simple concept that how you can use this um, register within your circuit. And in the last, you can use this clear uh, bit pin to clear the output. So in this way, you can use it out. So thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.